Okay, um. Yeah. People asked if I get if I get stoned. Legally, I do. Um, legally, but I that's very much on purpose for my book. Look, first of all, the gauntlet was thrown. Let's talk about this. The gauntlet was thrown that I was to perform what my uh, my uh, I suppose protege Nancy Nancy who um, the boring mystery of Nancy who so more like Bess who. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so, uh, <laughs> Hello. anyways, uh, so, yeah, the, let's just look at the facts here, people. Hey, what did I give you? I gave you ad lib stories out loud, which, yes, I did stones. Why? Well, I think it's important. I need some my process. And I, it's legal. I bought it at the store. Legally. Yeah. And I also think many of my stories that I told you I was probably stoned or thinking about stoned or wishing to be stoned or something related to that. I had been stoned, was remembering being stoned while it was happening. So, I mean, it's kind of a stoner's journey, man. And also, um, you know, um, okay, that's, I think that's kind of the spirit. <laughs> In a muted sort of way, I'm a quiet person, but I'm a loud person, you know what I mean? I'm a quiet person, I have a quiet tone. I don't really wish to talk much. No, not really. Not to most people. But I'm a loud one. Anyways, um, so, yeah. I thought that's like a prerequisite. Yeah. And I get pretty sufficiently legally stoned before I do all those book reading. It's very valid. Because, uh, fuck you. You said I couldn't do anything. You said I couldn't do anything stoned. You said I couldn't do anything in general, so I threw some more challenges. I'd like to see Nancy who six bong rips in, right? Like, let's let's watch her and see where she's at. Oh, you know what I mean? And I'm out of it. Like, truth be told, I'm better on paper. Yeah, because I have time to... It, it, when you write, your hand is slower, and so you can really choose your words carefully and your little side jokes. I have a lot more little, little caveats when I write. Uh, which is why I gave the disclaimer this will be a rough draft if, if I want to go that route or add something and I want to reserve that right um, and uh, uh, so I don't know let's see what did I give you this year this year it will, we're coming up on nine books so here's where I'm at I wrote a poet a gritty dark probing hauntingly beautiful uh, poetry series about a variety of topics which I put in categories and gave you into books designed the cover did all this stuff wrote it admittedly they're light edits admittedly I do about four read throughs and then I quit <laughs> but it's really okay the point is to just produce a product and try to market it and you can always edit it if you need to uh, and then and this touched a variety of subjects including sex and love and intrigue and longing and um, politics and persuasions and watching the souls of humanity get sucked up one by one by the devil no big deal uh, you know being a sex sacrifice my virginity very much sacrifice uh talking about that and a lot of the emotions of that uh, toward my family and then and then writing kind of a book toward my family about you're a bunch of sycophants that's what you are sycophants. sickos 
emphasis on sickles you put the sickle and sickle fan sickle. the book was I would consider calling it sick book um, but then settled on sick of that and um, uh, and then you know um, wrapping it up all the way to the end so far the newest one was Enigma you said well write new stuff write stuff that's happening now and so I did and I wrote Enigma and that was uh, largely uh, not completely but largely having to do with um, hey stop stop my last relationship so there you go very topical and it's very obviously about that and if you knew what was going on then you would have seen that so don't you growl at me and um no honey no no <laughs> no and take your bucket is it no and take your bucket and go do a thing yeah, you can know. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. Yeah. And, uh... Oh. So, um... Yeah. Then you said, you know, like, do s write in a different genre. So I did. Oh, no, no, no. Then during my chap, my mystical explosion with chat books, which was rad and rapid and rad and impressive, um, you said, make it full length. I said, well, they are full length chat, <laughs> chat books. And you're like, no. And I'm like, no, they really are. But then I made a full length one anyway. It's just to satisfy. So beyond that, a full length, what is considered full length? One. And then you said, no, I want a full length book book. So I switched. And then you said, plus I want you to write in a different way with tired of poetry. I'm like, okay, no problem. So then I started writing in comedy. You're fucking welcome. Something that. Bess. Nancy Bess. Um, they didn't seem to do as successfully as I did. Anyways, and then you said, well, we want something else. Write a full-length book, so I did, and it was 211 pages. Almost adulting comes out to 211 pages. I told you that. And you're like, no. Nah. you like, went off. I said, I told you it's updated. It takes a while for Amazon to update everything. That's not on me. I put in the edits ages, which just wasn't taking. I don't know why. Didn't get around to it. <laughs> and then they did it. I redid it, and then they, and then it took. It just took a while. Um, so it's two hundred eleven pages, which makes it officially a full length book. It's very funny. It packs with a lot of jokes for your book. It's a book with a whole lot of jokes in it. You're welcome. Plethora of jokes. No, that's not yours, and you know it. Hey, drop it. Honey, that's not yours, that's Wolf's. I said no, and you know that. Yeah, that's right, Wolf, go get it. No, go grab it. You're right. Come on. No, you're right to grab it. Yeah, go ahead. Go get it. No, I see what happened. Hey, that's not yours. And then you said, like, do something else. I don't know why. I don't even know the justification. But just, like, you were just, like, you were, like, resting bitch face, dead-eyeing me. And you're like, no. No. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what do you mean, no? I don't know. Just, uh, so I'm like, what? <laughs> so then I made you some snafu cards, which are about to come out because you want a new product so I said okay so I did that again but I made you something else and I made you a book of cards which are very funny FML about the FML moments of life the snafus they're salty for your snafu so it's a little funny funny for your fucked up moments in life and you can like give it to your friend and be like dude I'm sorry that you're like going through this fucked up situation but like here's a snafu card 
and then they could laugh and see the light in the dark. That's my hope. Um, and then, because I'm benevolent, because <laughs> I'm a giver. <laughs> they practically run a damn charity, okay? <laughs> Greeting card charity of helpfulness, spirit help. I'm a spirit helper. I'm a spirit helper on paper, but by the way, I did design it. I don't. I don't really think the designs are very impressive, I'll be honest, I'm lazy, and I just wanted you to get the idea more than anything, if you want to buy it, it's worth it, why, because it's like, less than a dollar a card for a funnier card than the shit you're gonna get in the store, like, come on, dude, for like, a quarter of the price, so what are you complaining about, but, I'm not a graphic designer, I'm still kind of, yeah, I'm, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I did design everything myself, and then I wrote everything, that's, I'm the writer, that's the important part, but it's sufficient. The designs are sufficient. They're not great. I saw a card the other day, it blew mine out of the water. But look, this is like what those people do. They like cut out some shit with layers. I'm like, that's like a mold. I'm like, I'm not doing all that. Dude. Fuck you, it's like cutting pieces of paper and layering it. Like, fuck you, then. Uh, then bending it. I'm bending it on my body. It's like a stupid print. Anyways, um. So. And then. Uh, my most recent one, I've given you two two installments. Um, I don't know the word count. I have no idea. If maybe maybe somebody else could figure this out. Um, but it should be. I did realize I did leave another part out, <laughs> a minor part. So I, it will be. Uh, there will be slight edits to this uh, last installment, which is fine. All I promised you was a rough draft, and that is totally what I gave you. And I gave it to you in really good time. It looks like I'm going to be able to do weekly installments of this. And they're ranging about, what, 30 pages to, uh, I don't know, I, I'm really not sure, 100 and so many pages. I'm not sure. I really don't know. Uh, per session. And so it looks like this book is going to be full length, definitely under uh, over 200. And um, maybe closer to three. Hundred, I would estimate, um, but I don't know it. Okay, so this is me just totally guessing out of nowhere. Um, and so that will be another full length one. Um, and uh, hey, hey, you guys, stop. You have to share it. Hey, that's not yours. You give that back. That's not yours. Stop it. So the um the last uh this this newest book is uh different. You said so after I did this magnificent feat, you guys looked at me and went Whatever. What else can you do? It's like boring. I'm like bored. And then yeah. so I went, okay, I'll switch writing genres again but I'll still write it it'll still be considered comedic but I think that the stories are a lot more than just comedy I think that they're also I think there are a lot of things I think I think that you know I uh, I come from a different school of thought I don't come from writing workshops I don't I don't want anyone to tell me how to write that's not what I needed to do I come from a different school of thought than Nancy who where I believe that you should live and then write. Live first, write second. But write always and live always and then that's how you do it. But she thinks it's cooler to like like talk to like I don't know, some like retiree who like put together like a poetry book all about like flowers in her yard or whatever. And that's like blooming 101. She's like, what's this her, her poem? Like, I'm blooming. Blooming like a flower. Blooming like a begonia. <laughs> hey, stop it. You need to listen. I said no. What are we doing here? Why are you not listening? And you? Why did you just take off your diaper? What is going on? This is mayhem. Put your diaper back on. So... What? No, 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 no. <laughs> this is not a good run, run, run. Um, 
Okay, I don't know. Okay, don't say. Um. <laughs> I mean, it is something about. So, uh, anyways, the book is full length, and it is. T- I forgot what's title. Precious Piggies, um, and it is autobiographical. But it is it is written beyond just. It's not just. I'm being one hundred percent conversational. I'm being conversational as it is live, but I'm also. Which you see how this is. This is like mayhem, right? Uh. You see how, uh, um, <laughs> no, I'm switching styles and it's, uh, there's a lot to it. It's sort of all encompassing in that it's, the stories are different. Um, so yeah, I'm switching it up again. It's going to be a bit of a lengthier read and, uh, it's really going to round out my writing. It's gonna really ground that down, uh, so that you're oh wow, you're like officially a writer, you're not fucking around. Not when you throw in the heavy full length like that, no, 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 no. especially when it's two. Two full length, uh, one full length, you know, whatever, uh, no, three full length technically to what they are. Um, and full length chapbooks, but that's what they are fucking called. <laughs> And so that's my update. Sorry, it's so scattered with little man being uh, a wailing nudist. <laughs> yeah, it's this is how it is too. When I'm writing, editing, everything, it's like this. So yeah. Uh, anyways. <laughs>